Welcome back to Storytime Craft Videos with Miss Megan. That's me, and I'm so happy that we are back meeting in person. I missed all of your smiling faces so much, and I am really excited to see you guys every other week again at the Tarot County Public Library. But because we are still being very cautious, and we are still making sure we're taking care of our health and safety, we're doing our craft videos online and you get to do your crafts at home. So we are going to show you how to do those crafts that you picked up yesterday. Or if you were not able to make it out to our story time, we missed you, but that's okay. You can still come pick up a kit and do these fun crafts at home with your little people and maybe check out the books that we read at the same time or check out other books on our fun theme of planes, trains, and cars. Oh my! So we are going to do two different craft projects today because Miss Megan can never pick just one. And we are gonna get started right now. Let's start with our shape train. Are you excited? I'm excited. So in your Storytime Craft Kit, you will find a piece of cardstock. You will find multiple fun shapes in an assortment of colors and you have colors to choose from. You will have two each of your main shapes. So you'll have two squares and two small rectangles and two large rectangles and two large circles and two triangles to choose from and then you will have two sets of three smaller circles and you get to mix and match and choose whatever colors you want to make your train and if you feel like it you can make a train on either side of your piece of, uh, of cardstock. So here's my example this is what we're going to make today but this is a story time project and it is a Miss Megan project which means you get to use your own creativity if you can rearrange these shapes in another way and still make a train car, I want to see it. Let's do it. Let's use our creativity. So we're going to need some glue. You can use a glue stick or you can use Elmer's glue as usual. Whatever kind of glue you have around will work. And we're going to get started. So let me look at my example. Let's start with our large rectangle. Pick your color and you're going to flip it over so that the black outline is on the table and put glue on the back side. Or if you don't want the black outline, you can do it the other way. It's entirely up to you. We're going to get some glue on our rectangle and stick it down close to one edge of your piece of paper. And what I mean by that is like this, because we're going to make the train coming this way. Or if you put it over here, you can make your train going this way. That's entirely up to you but you wanna make sure that there is room for all of your pieces. So next, we're gonna do our square. Find your square, guys. What an awesome job. Y'all are learning your shapes so fast. And adult people, if your person does not know their shapes, this is a great learning opportunity for you. We like those here. So we're gonna take our square and put it right in front of our large rectangle. Like so. Look, it's starting to take shape. I'm beginning to see a train. What about you guys? Let's do our small rectangle next, and that one is going to go up on top of our large rectangle. What colors are you guys using? Can, does anybody have the right colors to put their train in the shape into a rainbow pattern? I bet somebody does. All right, so there's our rectangle. Let's do our triangle next. What makes a triangle? How many sides does a triangle have? Let's count them. One, two, three. Three, you guys are so smart. So we're gonna glue our triangle down. Here we go. And our triangle is a little funky. We're gonna glue him down like this so that he's standing and his long edge is going this way. Or if you're doing your train going this way, it'll be like this. But either way, you want that long edge on the outside to form the very front of the train. There we go. Look what we've got so far. Now, it seems to be missing something. What do you think? Will, it, will our train go like this? Hmm. You know what? I think you're right. It's missing wheels. So let's put our big wheel on first. Find your big circle, you guys. How many sides does a circle have? <laughs> Did I stump anybody? A circle has no sides because it is round. So we're going to take our big circle and put it over here next to our and overlapping our big rectangle, just like this. Do you think this train can run on one wheel like that? I think it would be really interesting to find out. It would be kind of up like this, but I think it'd be a little top heavy. So let's give it some support. 
So you can use three circles of the little circles, or you could use two, or you could use one, or you could use none, or you could use all six on one train. However many you can make fit on the train, and however many you think your train needs to go. But Miss Megan is going to do all three of hers. One, two, and three. What a great job, you guys. I know that your trains are going to be super cool, and I want to see them. You can bring them in to show me when you come to get some more books at the library. Here's my train. Where, let's put my train up with this one so they can run in a convoy. They can go down the tracks together. What do you think? I think they're going to be good friends. All right, I like trains, but you know what I like just as much as I like trains? It's another thing that goes. It's got wheels, but it doesn't use them all the time. And it can do something super unique. It can fly. That's right. Airplanes! I love airplanes. I've only flown in one once, like we talked about at story time, but I really like airplanes. So we are going to make a fun airplane that you guys can use, and you can use it to hold things together, because we are making an airplane out of a clothespin. Check out my airplane. I am super excited about this guy. I can use him to clip papers to things, to clip notes, and um, leave messages for my little people or for other people that I care about, and I could use it to hold a chip bag closed if I wanted to, if I needed a snack one day. Whatever my imagination thinks I can come up with, I can use my paperclip or my clothespin airplane for. So let's make you guys a clothespin airplane of your own. What do you think? You want to have them to play with? And you know, if I get bored at work, I can just sit back at my desk and go and sail my airplane through the sky just like that. Well, maybe I shouldn't do that because at work I should be working, right? The good news is my job is lots of fun and it's making things for you guys. So in your story time kit, you will find one clothespin, two popsicle sticks, and a partial third piece of a popsicle stick. So this is going to be a super simple craft, you guys. The only other thing you're going to need is glue. I don't know that a glue stick will really cut it for this, so you're going to need... I used Elmer's glue for this one, and that's what I'm going to use here, but if you have tacky glue, um, craft glue, or even a hot glue gun, that would also work. So let's get started. Are you ready? We're going to take one of our popsicle sticks and we're going to take our clothespin and we are going to glue them together. So we're going to go right in the center of the popsicle stick and put some glue and we're going to take our clothespin and we're going to make sure that the side that we squeeze is back here because we want to put this near the side that opens. So double check to make sure. There we go and put it right down on top of the glue, about in the middle of your clothespin, or your popsicle stick. It's okay if it's a little off. Miss Megan can't really get to the middle of anything. I am terrible at that kind of thing. But these are our airplanes, and we can do them with creativity, just like every other Miss Megan craft project. So then we're going to take our second popsicle stick, and we're going to put a dab of glue close to the middle of that, as close to the middle as we can get. And we're going to put it right on top of the clothespin so that it lines up with the one underneath. And then we're going to leave those alone and we're not going to mess with them because if we move it around too much they could come off and we have to start all over again. So we're going to use a little bit of patience to let them dry good. And in the meantime we're going to glue on this back piece, the tail fin. So just take your little glue and dab it right onto the top of your clothespin at the far end, the end that you pinch together and put your little tail fin right on top of it, about centered on the piece of popsicle stick that makes the tail fin. All right, so now we are gonna let our airplane sit. Look at that, it looks like an airplane, doesn't it? So we're gonna let it sit and let the glue dry, and then once we're sure it's good and dry and it's not gonna go anywhere, you guys can get markers or paint if your adult people let you, or anything else that you would like to use to give your plane some fun colors and patterns, or you can leave it just like this if you want, and then you can fly your planes and play with them and use them to clip things. You could even clip your own shirt if you wanted to and wear it as a decoration on your clothes one day. So that is our paperclip, our clothespin airplane.
project and we've done our train and I look forward to seeing you guys at our next story time or swing by the library to pick up some more books, read all about planes and trains and cars and any other kind of things that go or anything else that catches your interest. We miss you guys. We're excited to be back doing in-person programming and we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye everybody.